Welcome to Riverside. In this brief tutorial, I'm going to walk through how to record, edit, and publish content with Riverside, including using our AI tools that lets you repurpose your content in multiple ways. Here I've logged into my Riverside account. You can quickly start recording in high quality video and audio by going to the record button right here. This is the lobby screen where you'll choose your microphone, speaker, and camera. That could be a web camera, a DSLR or mirrorless connected via USB cable, or any other video source connected to your computer. Then you can choose your microphone or audio interface, speaker, type in your name here, that will be applied to the transcript and will be seen in the studio, and then choose whether or not you're using headphones. When we've chosen our devices, let's click Join Studio. Now you can invite remote guests, whether that's co-hosts, interview guests, or someone that's gonna be a part of your webinar, and you can do that by getting the guest link for your studio. Right here, you can just quickly copy the guest link, share that with someone, and they can open it in Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, and they'll appear here in the studio to record with you. Even if you close this window, you can still get back to those invite links by clicking the invite button here at the top, copy the guest link, and send that to someone to record. If you plan to live stream or do a webinar, you can also copy the audience link, and sending that to someone means they can tune in live as you record and participate in the chat to ask questions and even do audience live call-ins. We actually have lots of live streaming features built into the Riverside Studio. You can connect multiple live streaming destinations like YouTube, Facebook pages, and more. If you'd like to learn more about our live streaming tools, check out this video above, and the link will be in the description below. We also have the studio chat here so you can communicate with your other guests and co-hosts, studio branding tools, text overlays if you'd like to show clickable links when you're streaming live and using Riverside audience mode. Again, you can learn more about that in our live streaming tools video. And here you can actually upload video and audio files to play live while you record, and that will all be recorded as separate tracks, and you can download those individual tracks later once you're done. You can also share your screen for added visuals. You can share a tab of your browser, a full window of an application, or your entire computer screen. And we even have a script option where you can type in a script or bullet points and even go into teleprompter mode and automatically have it start scrolling so you can read off the screen and sound professional. When you're ready to record, hit the record button here at the bottom. You'll get a five second countdown, and now your guests are being recorded in high quality video and audio. And this is the magic of Riverside. All recording happens locally. Your video and audio is recorded on your computer, your remote guests, their video and audio is recorded locally on their computer, and those files are then uploaded so you can access them later and edit them with Riverside. You'll see an upload progress bar in the very top, and that means your video and audio files are being uploaded even as you record. This way you won't have to wait very long once you're done recording. I'm gonna click stop on this recording. You'll see a window pop up showing how long the rest of the files have to upload. Give your guests or other co-hosts a heads up to just stick around for a few seconds to make sure everything finishes uploaded properly. You'll get a successfully uploaded message. Now you're ready to jump in and edit your content. Back on the Riverside dashboard, when you're ready to edit, all of your previous recordings are organized into projects. If you'd like to access those individual audio and video files, you can go to Recording Files underneath your last recording. Here you can see a preview of the recording, and if you scroll down, you'll see separate tracks for you, any remote guests and co-hosts, and anytime you shared your screen or played a media board file, you get a separate recording of those as well. You can click High Quality next to a person's name or an individual track, and download the raw video and even uncompressed wave raw audio file for everyone. We also have something called generate show notes. With one click, you'll actually get a summary, takeaways, all of this in just a few seconds, all about your recording, including possible titles, sound bites, and chapter markers, which makes it easy to jump to a certain part of the recording for a topic or subject, maybe where you'd like to share some clips from. And before we jump into the editor, one other great feature you should try is Magic Clips. You can generate magic clips, which will automatically pull vertical videos from your long form content. You can even adjust how long you want these magic clips to be, what participant you want to focus on in these clips, and even type out a topic, and the magic clips will focus on whatever you choose. But let's jump into the editor and see what that looks like. I'll go up here to edit and then create new edit. And here we are in the Riverside editor. When you want to start editing your content, maybe removing a sentence or a part of your recording, you have the full transcript here on the left-hand side, and editing is as easy as deleting words like it's a Word document. So I can select an entire sentence or paragraphs, and then you'll see this menu pop up. I can delete, and now I've edited my audio and video just by deleting those words. It's that easy. I can even jump to a certain part in the transcript or my recording by searching for a word here. I can search for a word or phrase, and all the results will show up, and I can scroll through them using these arrows. 
and I can also browse the timeline down at the bottom. I can roll over each part and see the context of that search term, who said it, and the timestamp. Now we can speed up our editing process even more by using the suite of AI tools built right into Riverside. If I go up here to our AI producer, we have a feature called Set Pace. This is way better than a normal Remove Silences tool, because here you can choose how much silence you want to remove. If I want this to be fast paced and remove even more silence, maybe like for a vertical video, I can go all the way to the right, or for a more conversational pace, I can leave it in the middle and I'll click apply. And you'll see how quickly all the silences were just cut out from our recording. I'll go back up to the AI producer and apply smooth speech. This removes all filler words like uhs and ums and unwanted sounds. And you can go down to the layout and even use features like smart scenes. This will apply throughout your entire clip and will focus on the active speaker. If there's two people, it will focus on them kind of in between during transitional parts of the conversation and then go back to focusing on the active speaker. You'll see down here in the timeline, each of these sections is a different scene. It's focusing on both of us, and then just the active speaker, and then back to both of us. And that just happened automatically in a few seconds. We can preview it here and see it change from the two of us back to one person because they're speaking now, and then we'll go back to just the two of us. You can also click this icon right here for individual track editing. You'll see the individual track audios expanded, and you can even do things like eliminating crosstalk by selecting a word, hitting delete, and now you're editing the individual tracks of your recording. I'll collapse those tracks by clicking it again. Then if we'd like to add some animated captions, we have that built into Riverside right here as well. I'll click captions. We have lots of pre-made templates, or you can even save your own templates so it's easy to apply your style later. We can also upload things like images if we want to overlay it. I'll click a full screen slide here, expand it, and that image overlay will apply down here in the timeline. I can drag the in and out points, and we'll see that image overlay pop up as we preview here in the editor. You can also pull from our stock image library right here, search for anything you want, and then you can overlay these images throughout your recording. You can also do text overlays, which is great for names, website URLs, or sponsors, and you can click and drag to move this around the frame. You can also add background music wherever you'd like in your recording, or even multiple tracks. I can click music up here, and again, you can choose from a royalty-free stock music library right here. I'll choose this track by pressing the plus icon, and you'll see that audio track appear down here in the timeline. Now I can click the three dots, change the volume of that background audio, and then even choose the fade in and out timing. Then I can drag this around, maybe all the way to the beginning of the clip. And remember, all of this editing is non-destructive. You can always start a new clip with your entire recording. None of these applied. When you're ready to export, you can click the export button here in the top right, and you can export in up to 4K video quality, normalize audio to make everything the same volume, and you can also jump over to the audio tab and export something like an MP3 file, which is great for a podcast host. And that's just a high level view of our recording, AI tools like Magic Clips to repurpose your content, and our incredible editor. There's lots of more features under the hood, and if you'd like to see an even more in-depth walkthrough, check out this video right up here. If you have any questions about Riverside, leave comments below this video, I'll answer you there. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button because we have new features coming out all the time and we cover them right here. Also, if you'd like to learn more about those live streaming tools, which is great for webinars, if you want to live stream a class or into a community, we have incredible tools for that as well. You can check out this video right up here where I explain that in depth. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create with Riverside.